Once upon a time, there was a magical heavenly kingdom where the Grand Emperor lived with his court of celestial animals. The animals loved to dance and celebrate with extravagant parties, but the biggest party animal of them all by far was the celestial ox. This party, however, was not destined to last. Over time, each of his friends had left to perform an important task in order to earn their place in the stars. And it was not long before the ox found himself left to celebrate alone. And a party of one is no fun at all. Determined not to be left behind, the ox resolved to ask the emperor for a task of his own. After having assigned so many tasks already, the emperor was left with only one mission for the ox. The humans on Earth were running out of food, so someone needed to deliver the emperor's gift to save them from starvation. He instructed the ox very carefully. Tell the people I will use my magic to give them one meal on every third day. And if you do this for me, I will grant you your place as a constellation among your friends. The ox accepted this task, but before he could leave, the emperor warned him, Now, ox, I know how you love to celebrate, but you must not allow yourself to be sidetracked. The ox acknowledged this message and assured the emperor that oh, he had nothing to worry about. And with that, he was gone. When the ox arrived, the humans were overjoyed to be honored by a messenger of the Grand Emperor. Abiding by their time-honored traditions, they immediately brought forth the ceremonial and quite potent sacred ambrosia of celebration to show their appreciation. Despite the emperor's warning, the ox did not wish to insult his hosts by turning down their kind offering. And with one mighty gulp, the ambrosia was gone, and the ox began to feel very strange, and the ceremonial drums seemed louder than ever, compelling him to dance like he had never danced before. It wasn't long before the whole village was joined in mad celebration. At the very height of the festivities, the ox climbed to the top of the altar to call the attention of his new human friends. As he looked upon their happy faces, he realized how much he wanted to return their generosity. He shouted his message from the gods, declaring that all of the people would be gifted with three meals a day. Suddenly, the land became lush with crops, the likes of which the humans had never even dreamed of. There was great feasting as the people rejoiced with a newfound enthusiasm. Without warning, the good mood was cut short as ominous clouds blotted out the sky, and as the humans scattered in fear, the ox turned to see none other than the emperor himself seething with rage. You have lied to the people, Ox. I cannot possibly summon the power it would take to provide three meals a day. The Emperor scolded. I will have to take all of this back. The Ox did not want to invoke the Emperor's wrath any further, but he could not stand the thought of disappointing the humans. If you don't set things straight right now, you could lose the chance to be with your friends in the stars forever, <gasps> the emperor cautioned. The ox considered this, but remained unswayed. The emperor saw this in the ox's eyes and offered one final solution. And so the ox was bound to spend the rest of his years toiling in the fields to feed the people of Earth. Although the days were long and the work was hard, the satisfaction of being alongside his friends made it all worthwhile. And the occasional sharing of the uh, sacred ambrosia at the end of a long day was not an unwelcome change either.